Nine dangerous supplements. These supplements, if taken without proper guidance, can lead to serious health issues like liver damage, heart arrhythmias, and other problems we'll discuss in this video. So what are these nine? Let's start with the first one, which is widely used, calcium supplements. Many people, when experiencing back or joint pain, immediately start taking calcium. This is a big mistake. Why? Because Bone and joint problems often aren't related to calcium deficiency. To determine if someone needs calcium, I need to assess their overall metabolism, including calcium and vitamin D levels, as calcium can't be absorbed without sufficient vitamin D. So your vitamin D levels need to be adequate. We also need to check magnesium, phosphorus, and parathyroid hormone levels. Have you heard of this hormone? So it helps regulate calcium levels. Kidney and liver function are crucial for bone health not just calcium intake. What are the consequences of calcium consumption? It can cause kidney stones and potentially harm your heart if you don't need it. Often, weak bones aren't from lack of calcium, but from other imbalances I mentioned. Various factors can cause osteoporosis, even in those with high calcium who can't absorb it due to vitamin D or parathyroid hormone issues. These hormones from four glands in the thyroid help regulate calcium levels. Often when this hormone is high, calcium leaves the bones and enters the bloodstream. So taking calcium supplements can be problematic. First, consult your doctor if you're taking calcium. You might not need it. Taking supplements thinking they're good for you could even lead to heart issues. I want to clarify that I'm not against calcium supplementation. I've prescribed calcium supplements often, but unnecessary use can be dangerous and have serious health consequences. Have you ever taken any calcium supplements? Comment below with your city and if calcium use is common where you're watching this video. In my city, Porto Alegre, it's very common. I was surprised how many people use calcium unnecessarily. And supplement number two, also widely used, is omega -3. I'm sure you've heard it's healthy. Recent studies have linked high-dose omega-3 to arrhythmias, especially atrial fibrillation. This can lead to serious consequences like stroke. Before taking omega-3, ask your doctor or nutritionist if it's right for you. High doses are risky, not just in case reports, but also in meta-analyses of multiple studies. So I'll link the omega-3 study in the comments for those who want to dive deeper. It's recent news that many don't know about yet and they're still taking high doses of omega-3. But it's important to note that if you eat fish or foods rich in omega-3, you don't have this issue. This problem is related to supplements. So always choose food sources. There's no need to fear omega-3. I'm talking about high-dose supplements, which many people end up using, like very high doses of omega-3, okay? If your doctor recommended it after evaluating your case, don't worry. I always share information based on scientific evidence, and I need to tell you about this study. Number three, turmeric. Turmeric supplements are widely used as anti-inflammatories and potent antioxidants, and turmeric really is. Turmeric is also called saffron of the earth, depending on where you are in the world, but it has an active ingredient called curcumin, which in high doses without medical supervision can lead to liver problems, okay? So be very careful. Don't be like many people who take turmeric capsules or shots or add high doses to drinks thinking it's just an antioxidant. Adding it to food is fine. Like I said about omega-3, no problem. I use turmeric, love it on chicken. Not sure if you do, but supplements can be risky, okay? Number four, caffeine supplements. Why caffeine supplements? I've often said, even on this channel, that coffee is very healthy and caffeine has many benefits. But we have a healthy dose limit. This dose is, on average, three to four cups. Each cup, about 200 milliliters of brewed coffee, has around 100 milligrams of caffeine. So if we're talking three to four cups, the healthy caffeine dose would be up to 400 milligrams per day. For espresso, each 30 to 50 milliliters shot has the same caffeine as a 200 milliliters cup of drip coffee. So three to four espressos a day is the limit. Exceeding this, especially over 800 milligrams of caffeine daily, can trigger arrhythmias, increase anxiety, and cause other health issues. If using pre-workout supplements or caffeine pills for performance or alertness, watch the dose. A dose over 400 milligrams can be dangerous. Doses above 800 milligrams significantly increase your risk of arrhythmia, which can be very serious.
Supplement five, widely used for hair and nails, is biotin or vitamin B. Many take it unknowingly. This vitamin can alter blood test results, leading to false diagnoses. I'll focus mainly on thyroid tests here. Note, biotin doesn't cause bodily changes, but can alter test results, leading to errors. I've listed it as dangerous as it can cause false diagnoses by altering blood tests. If you're taking biotin or vitamin B7, you must inform the lab and doctor ordering the tests as it can lead to false results. When I discuss supplements with patients, many don't mention them, thinking, it's just a vitamin, it won't interfere. In reality, you need to be upfront about this to ensure a thorough analysis. Doctors often advise stopping biotin supplements 72 hours before the test to avoid interference. This affects not just thyroid tests, but also tumor markers used to monitor cancer patients. See the confusion biotin can cause? As a thyroid specialist, I often see patients with altered test results who think they're ill, but it's just biotin causing the changes. Curious about how biotin affects blood tests? Biotin can falsely lower TSH and raise free T4 levels, potentially misleading doctors in two ways. If you take supplements, especially biotin, always mention it to the lab when getting tests done. This helps avoid misunderstandings that could seriously impact your health. I've seen patients treated for diseases they don't have, all due to biotin-induced changes in blood tests. If you have a thyroid condition, discuss this with your doctor during checkups. It can lead to misdiagnosis or misunderstanding of your treatment progress. Did you find this tip helpful? Were you aware of this? Probably not. If so, give it a like. Each like helps warn others about these serious health risks. Number six, iron supplements. These are also widely used. Excess iron can increase ferritin levels. If unnecessary, it may accumulate in organs like the liver, heart, and brain, causing issues. What I said about calcium applies to iron too. Anemia doesn't always mean iron is needed. There are other causes. In practice, iron supplementation without a precise diagnosis is common. People often take it without knowing if they truly have iron deficiency anemia which is the most frequent type, but there are others. Sometimes people start taking iron just because someone said, hey, you look pale and tired. They jump to conclusions without proper testing. It's important to note that iron supplements can cause digestive issues. Those who've taken them know they can worsen gastritis and increase heartburn. If you don't actually need iron, you're not only wasting time, but also risking these side effects and potentially worsening symptoms. To manage these side effects, doctors may prescribe medications like omeprazole, pantoprazole, or isomprazole when the real issue is unnecessary iron supplementation. These medications won't address the root cause and may lead to additional health consequences. So you end up taking meds for symptoms caused by a supplement which also affects vitamin absorption, like B. It's crucial to always consult and only take supplements with medical or professional guidance, like from a nutritionist. Number seven, this supplement's banned in many countries, but still used. It can cause liver problems and damage. Some who took it ended up with acute liver failure, even needing liver transplants. What's this supplement? Green tea capsules. I'm not talking about green tea itself, which has healthy antioxidants. But high-dose capsule supplements, you shouldn't take green tea capsules, okay? They can be dangerous and harm your liver. It's crucial you know this info, as many people sell it saying, oh, it's healthy, green tea is healthy, but in capsule form, it can have unwanted effects. Number eight, isolated vitamin E supplements. These are getting popular as vitamin E is a strong antioxidant, but supplements with only vitamin E can increase bleeding risks. It's vital to consult a doctor or nutritionist before taking this type of supplement. When vitamin E is in multivitamins at this level, it didn't raise bleeding risk. I'm talking about higher doses of isolated vitamin E supplements here. This is what you should be careful about. Supplement 9, also widely used, can be risky, even raising chances of heart arrhythmias and kidney issues. For this vitamin, you need to get your blood levels checked to monitor your vitamin D. Vitamin D can have risks, but also benefits when used correctly. In this video, I specifically discuss vitamin D. I cover all the info, good levels, and the real benefits of vitamin D. If you're interested, I'll link you to this video about vitamin D. Take care. See you next time. Click here to watch the video.